Despite a series of challenges, Boeing can finally breathe a sigh of relief as the 777-9, its most ambitious program, has just completed more than two months of intense and grueling brake tests. This marks a turning point that could signal the triumphant comeback of the American aerospace giant, promising fierce competition with rivals in the same segment. But what exactly will Boeing's new aircraft bring to the future of aviation, and when will we finally see it in the skies? Let's find out. The journey of the Boeing 777X has been nothing short of a marathon filled with countless obstacles, but the company has now reached a crucial milestone, completing rigorous brake tests, a mandatory step on the path toward certification. After years of delays and numerous challenges, the world's most advanced wide-body aircraft is now closer than ever to its debut. However, this round of testing also came with no shortage of difficulties. Specifically, the 777-9 test team carried out the evaluations at Clinton Sherman Airport, CSM, in Oklahoma, to demonstrate the aircrafts to break safely in all emergency scenarios. Originally expected to be completed in 30 days, the tests ultimately stretched to 63 days due to unpredictable weather and unforeseen complications. Under the direction of test director Madison Strauss, the first test aircraft, WH-001, even had to be relocated to Lubbock, Texas, to avoid strong winds and hailstorms. This flexibility allowed the team to maintain progress while also collecting valuable data on crosswind performance. Pilots, engineers, and technicians worked under harsh conditions, 24-hour shifts each day, split into two 12-hour rotations. The most difficult part was making sure all the equipment, tools, and spare parts were always available to keep up with the dense test schedule, said flight test maintenance specialist Marlon Mercado. Even so, teamwork and ingenuity turned setbacks into opportunities. When strong winds disrupted brake testing, the team seized the chance to conduct crosswind evaluations, a clear demonstration of their adaptability and resourcefulness. Project pilot Heather Ross emphasized that they had to test the aircraft under the harshest conditions to determine its limits, explaining that this was the way to prove the aircraft met both their expectations and regulatory requirements. Completing the brake test is a major milestone, but it is only the beginning. The 777X program will continue with evaluations simulating wing ice buildup and braking performance on wet runways, equally demanding challenges. Since its maiden flight on January 25, 2020, powered by the giant GE9X engines, the Boeing 777X has come a long way. If everything goes as planned, the first Dash 9s will be delivered in 2026, promising direct competition with the Airbus A350 while ushering in a new era for long-haul travel. This achievement is not only a victory for the U.S. aircraft maker, but also an exciting signal for the entire aviation industry. So what has made the Boeing 777X the most anticipated aircraft? Does it truly have what it takes to dethrone its formidable rival, the Airbus A350? Hold on, everything is about to get even more mind-blowing. But before we dive deeper, Make sure to smash that like button, share, and subscribe for more. Appreciate the support. The first highlight lies in what many call the wings of the future, built with carbon fiber reinforced composite, a material both ultralight and incredibly strong. The massive wings give this aircraft remarkable fuel efficiency, even surpassing the already efficient A350. With a wingspan stretching to an astonishing 71.75 meters in flight, it is designed to fly farther, faster, and leaner. But such a giant wingspan poses a real problem on the ground. How does a behemoth like this fit into crowded airports? Boeing's answer is bold and unprecedented. Folding wingtips. Just with a single action by the captain, the wingtips fold down, reducing the span to 64.82 meters, neatly fitting existing airport gates. It's a clever and highly practical innovation, giving Boeing an edge that Airbus doesn't offer. For carriers like Emirates, this feature is a game-changer in maximizing operations at busy hubs. If the wings symbolize innovation, then the heart of the 777X, the GE9X engines, is what truly sets it apart. The GE9X is the largest and most powerful commercial jet engine in the world, producing a staggering 134,300 pounds of thrust, smashing Guinness World Records, and outpacing every competitor. But raw power isn't the only story. The GE9X is also 10% more fuel efficient than the GE9115B on the 777-300ER and delivers superior performance compared to the A350's Trent XWB engines. 
A key part of this engineering marvel comes from MTU Aero engines, which develop the turbine center frame capable of withstanding temperatures up to 1000 degrees Celsius, ensuring durability and reliability. With experience honed on the A380 and 787, MTU's expertise underpins the long-term efficiency of this powerhouse. And it doesn't stop there. This is what airlines truly care about. The 777-9 can carry up to 426 passengers over 13,500 kilometers, while the smaller Dash 8 stretches even farther, covering 16,170 kilometers with 384 passengers. This opens up possibilities for airlines to operate ultra-long-haul routes, connecting distant cities across the globe without stopovers. But not only the performance, the Jetliner also reimagines the long-haul passenger experience. Inspired by the Dreamliner 787, the cabin features larger windows, a wider interior, improved humidity and air pressure, and enhanced sound insulation. The result is greater comfort, less fatigue, and a more enjoyable journey, even on flights lasting over a dozen hours. The combination of intelligent wing design, the world's most powerful jet engines, and a premium passenger experience positions the Boeing 777X as a formidable contender in the wide-body market. Yet will these bold innovations be enough to give the 777X a dramatic breakthrough and reshape the future of aviation when it finally enters service in 2026? What do you think? While the delays have given its rival, the A350-1000, a competitive edge, Boeing still has a chance to maintain the 7X's appeal, provided it can secure certification on schedule and avoid further major setbacks. Airlines looking for a high-capacity, technologically advanced aircraft may still see this Boeing aircraft as a valuable long-term investment. It is hard to believe that Boeing unveiled the 777X more than 12 years ago, yet as of March 2025, the jet is still uncertified, has not performed a single commercial flight, and has not seen its first delivery. Originally, the manufacturer aimed to put the 7X into service in 2020, but that timeline quickly proved unrealistic. The prolonged delays have not only cost the aerospace giant billions of dollars, but also eroded customer confidence. Airlines that have been waiting for years are growing increasingly impatient. Just last year, the test program was hit with another setback when all prototypes were grounded over new technical concerns, sparking fears of further delays. While Boeing's internal struggles have undoubtedly played a major role in these setbacks, they are far from the only cause. External challenges, including persistent issues with the GE9X engine and the global pandemic, disrupted the aircraft's development from the very start. As a result, the 777X remains firmly under the shadow of delay. Airlines that ordered the jet, including Emirates, Lufthansa, and Singapore Airlines, continue to watch developments closely. Many have voiced concerns that any technical hiccup during testing could push deliveries back yet again. Emirates, the program's largest customer, is already bracing for the possibility of waiting until 2028 to receive its first aircraft, a full eight years behind the original schedule. In reality, the airline now considers early to mid-2027 as the best-case scenario. Are they being overly cautious? Perhaps. But have they been wrong so far? Absolutely not. And as more carriers begin to express doubt, the outlook is becoming increasingly troubling. The uncertainty surrounding the new aircraft is not only about engineering, it has profound business and industry implications that Boeing cannot afford to ignore. Each delay erodes the company's competitive standing against Airbus, whose A3500-1000 continues to capture market share in the high-capacity, long-haul segment. While Boeing struggles to move its aircraft toward certification, Airbus has the advantage of offering airlines a proven, in-service aircraft. For customers, patience has limits. Airlines like Emirates, Lufthansa, and Singapore Airlines have already waited years longer than expected. Emirates, in particular, as the largest 777X customer, has been forced to reconsider fleet planning, securing interim capacity to bridge the gap left by Boeing's delays. These adjustments come at a cost, operational, financial, and strategic, and they underscore how much risk Boeing's setbacks impose on its partners. History also offers a sobering lesson. In commercial aviation, repeated schedule slippages often undermine the commercial success of even the most technologically advanced aircraft. Programs such as the Airbus A380 or Boeing's own 787 Dreamliner show that innovation alone is not enough. Without timely execution, airlines lose confidence and market opportunities fade. The 7X now is in a similar situation, where the longer the delays stretch, the harder it becomes for the U.S. maker to convert its technical achievements into real-world success. 
Boeing is officially targeting 2026 for the first 777X delivery, yet as 2025 wears on, confidence in that target is fading. The certification process continues, but its sluggish pace has left many customers skeptical that the company can stick to the timeline. And let's not forget, although nothing has been confirmed, another delay remains a very real possibility. After all, in any new commercial aircraft program, schedule slippage has become almost the norm, whether at Boeing or Airbus. Even so, progress cannot be denied. Recent brake testing marked an important milestone in the certification journey, and with each successful trial, the 7X edges closer to the finish line. What the U.S. manufacturer must avoid at all costs is a serious technical setback, one that could halt flight testing altogether or require a complete redesign of a critical system. Should that happen, the dream of bringing the aircraft into service would drift even further out of reach. Clearly, Boeing is racing against time to restore customer trust and prove that the 777X is worthy of the expectations placed upon it. With crucial tests underway, the program may finally be inching closer to certification. Yet the single most important factor remains the absence of any major setbacks in the next stages of testing. One severe stumble could plunge the manufacturer into even deeper trouble, making the dream of seeing the 7X take to the skies more distant than ever. Completing the brake test is not merely about checking off another box in the certification process. It is one of the most grueling and critical trials, since the braking system serves as the final line of defense in emergency situations, from high-speed rejected takeoffs to landings on wet or short runways. For Boeing, this success demonstrates that its jetliner can meet the highest safety standards, while also reinforcing confidence that the program is steadily moving toward the finish line. However, the fact that the testing phase lasted twice as long as expected is a clear reminder of just how fragile the 7X timeline is. Any disruption could stretch out the entire schedule. In other words, the brake test is both a major victory for Boeing and a warning signal that the road to certification remains fraught with challenges and that the company cannot afford a single serious misstep going forward.